Good morning, friends. It's great to be with you this Thursday morning. And as you know, Thursdays are Thursday Pray Day. So I want to encourage you, grab your hot coffee, grab your hot tea, let's get into God's Word, and let's pray together. You know, there's so much for us to be praying about right now. We need to be praying for the families in Uvalde, for all of those children and the horrors that they experience. We need to pray for their healing, and we just need to pray for the hand of God to be on them. And we also need to be just be praying just for us, for our community, and for everything that is going on around us. It's important that we gather together and pray. And as we're doing it this morning, I want to encourage you, as I do every day, if you're on us or following with us on Facebook, please, and you have a prayer request for yourself, please type those into the comment section. And when you see one come across, be sure to reply, let folks know that we're praying for each other. And if you just found us on Facebook and you don't currently follow Trinity Fellowship Church, I want to encourage you to follow us. That way you'll get the alerts when we're going live every Monday mor or every morning, Monday through Thursday, as well as our weekends and evening services. So it's great to be with you today. If you're with us on one of the other uh, uh, platforms, we're glad to have you. You can always email your prayer request to biblecast.tfc.org. All right, here we go. Let's pray together as we pray through Psalm 19. It says this, The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display His craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make Him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world. So, Father, that's what we pray this morning. We come to you, and we're so thankful for you. And as we come this morning, as we're waking up this morning, as the sun is rising up, and we see the promise that even comes in that of the way you have put the heavens together, the way you have assembled uh, the sun, the moon, the stars, everything around us, God, we know that you are in control of all things. And the message that you send out of your care, the message of your majesty, the message of your superiority, the message of just how magnificent you are. God, we see it around us each and every day. So as we engage in prayer this morning, as we're coming together to pray, to seek your heart, to ask for your hand and the resources of the things that you have in heaven to be released here on the earth, God, we do so <clears throat> from a position of recognizing we know who you are. We know how magnificent you are. We know how incredible you are. And we're just thankful for that. It says, God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. It bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like a great athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at the end of the heavens and follows its course to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. Father, we acknowledge that this morning, that nothing can hide from the sun. And just like that, and that's what the psalmist David here is setting up, this kind of comparison between the sun and your goodness and your truth and who you are. Father, just like nothing can hide from your heat, God, we ask for just a release from heaven right now to come from your hand. Father, we pray for the families of Uvalde, just for all of the families that have been involved, the children, the teachers, the administrators, all that have been involved by this horrible shooting. And God, we just pray protection over them right now. God, come down in a way that only you can, in a way that, frankly, we can't fathom or we can't imagine, and begin to heal their hearts. God, I pray for healing of their memories, especially of the children that were in the elementary school. Father, heal their memories. And Father, for all the families who have lost loved ones, God, heal their hearts. God, it's so almost impossible to comprehend these kinds of tragedies. Father, when there's so much evil that has just been released on the world and just the effects of sin and the choices that you, you give people. And I know that free will, Father, is something that you give us because you want us to be in relationship with you. And you can't have a relationship without free will. But God, that also opens us up then as humanity to sin and to the enemy and to just the failings that we see all around us. So, Father, we ask, just as nothing can hide from the heat of the sun, Father, let no, none of these individuals or these families be able to hide from the love, the care, the concern, the compassion that you are pouring out from heaven. Not that they would intend to hide, but God, let, let your love and compassion on them be tangible just like the warmth of the sun. And Father, for all of us, as we look across our, our, our cities, as we look across all of our communities, God, uh, just across our nation, just the things that are happening across the world. Father, we just ask for mercy and we ask for you to look down from heaven and to bring about transformation. Father, we just declare your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Father, we just collectively as an act of intercession, we just repent for where we have turned away from you. 
We repent for when we are no longer following your ways. We repent when we are trying to go at our own, uh, rising our truth above your truth and our will above your will. Father, we turn back to you. It says the instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. Father, and that's what we're asking for. Your ways, your truth, those things that you have laid down, both here in your word and also, Father, just as your your promises state, the laws that you write in our hearts and the desires that you put in our minds, the way that you align us, Father, we ask that you would bring an alignment. Let your people, let it begin with your people. Let those of us who follow you, let it begin in our own hearts, Father. We open our hearts before you this morning and we ask for you to examine us. See if there's anything inside of us Let us begin with ourselves. And then, Father, as we move from ourselves, we look to our communities. We look to our schools. We look to our school boards. We look to our our city councils. Father, we look to our county councils and the county commissioners, God. We look to the state, and we ask for an alignment to come in the state, Father, and in our nation and in the world. God, we ask for an alignment to come, not an alignment of unity for man, but an alignment of unity with your truth and who you are and what is right, because the commandments that you bring do bring joy to the heart. Father, you didn't write the commandments because you're mean and you're trying to you know, keep us from experiencing something that would be good. You did it because you know what's right for us. So Father, we declare your commandments to be right and true. It says, the commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for the living. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true and each one is fair. And Father, we just declare that this morning, that your way is the right way, that your truth is the truth, that there is no other truth apart from you, that you are the standard, you are the one that sets the measurement, you are the one that we are striving to be. And Jesus, we even come to you this morning and we just declare we are striving to become more and more like you every day. We ask that today you would help us to become more and more like you. It says, talking about the commandments, they are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the cone. They are a warning to your servant, a great reward to those who obey him. How can I know all the sin lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Father, that's our prayer this morning. Search us, examine us, see what's in us. Is there something wrong with the way we're thinking? Is there a a philosophy that we've picked up that we didn't know was there? Holy Spirit, we ask that you would be our guide, that you would open us up and you would let us be transparent before you. Let us hide nothing because your mercy, God, is so incredible. Your grace is so unbelievable. There's nothing that we need to hide from you. So we come before you and we open up our hearts and we ask that you would examine us. See what it is in us that needs to be rerouted. See what it is in us that needs to be ferreted out. Are there any weeds of thinking? Are there any weeds of attitude? Is there anything that needs to be removed? We submit it to you today because we want to be those who are walking in purity with you and in obedience to your ways and your laws. It says, keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. And that's our prayer, God, that you would deliver us, that you would get us out of sin. And not just for ourselves, God, but we also just pray for our our communities and our country, that you would deliver us from sin. Father, all of these issues, the whole, I mean, the the craziness around the, the abortion. Father, we just ask for it to end. We ask for a righteous rule to come from the Supreme Court. And we ask for the Roe v. Wade to be struck down, sent back to the states. And we ask for boldness in state legislatures to rise up and begin to let truth reign across this country. It says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And that's our prayer this morning, God, that as we engage with you and as we're coming to you, that you would be in our hearts, that we could meditate on you and it would be pleasing to you because you are worthy of all of our praise. You are worthy of all of our affection. And God, your ways are the ways we want to follow, and it's the way the world needs to follow if they're going to find the blessing that comes from you. So we just ask for that this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, we love you guys. We love you all. Have an amazing day. God bless.